Hey guys, it's me Rahul and welcome to the second episode of Android Tips. Today I'm going to show you guys how to convert your Android phone or tablet into a secondary monitor for your Mac or PC. Then I will show you guys how to change phone and the last thing I am going to teach you guys is how to make your device run faster, a simple trick to make it look like it is running faster. So without wasting further more time, let's do this. Converting an Android phone into a secondary monitor is a really hard job if you don't know anything about Android. There are a ton of apps in the Play Store that claims that you can do this but most of them don't work. Some of the apps crashed while setting up and some other doesn't even do anything. But I found an app that works flawlessly. It is called 2Mon USB USB Monitor. It is a paid app and it is little expensive at 8.73 US dollars. There is a free app called Splashtop Wired X Display. It does seem to work but it crashes every time it loads the screen. I think it is not compatible with Nvidia. But for this video I'm gonna use 2Mon USB. So these are the things that you need. An Android phone or tablet with the app installed. And a USB cable, 2Mon desktop app and drivers for your phone. First install the desktop client and the mobile app, then install the drivers for your phone. Then open the desktop app, then connect the phone to the PC with an USB cable and open the app and click on connect. If you don't see a screen pop up or you see a pitch black screen, open screen resolution menu in windows and enable the display then place it wherever you want and set a desired resolution. As you guys can see, I placed my phone just below my second monitor and I did the same in the menu. So now if I move a window to here, you can see that on my phone. It is pretty easy thing to do if you have some technical knowledge. In case the software doesn't recognize your phone, you have to reinstall phone's driver, especially the ADB driver for your phone. There is no noticeable lag or latency and yes, you can watch videos on that without any drop frames. So that's pretty cool. So we are moving to the next thing that is how to change phone of your Android device. So in order to do this your device has to be routed then you need a phone manager or a phone changer application. I recommend Fonter and PhoneFix. Both are great applications so for this video I am going to use PhoneFix. By the way the links to download all the applications that I mentioned in this video will be in the description down below so check it out. Open the application, then select a phone, tap on this plus button, then tap on install and grant root access, then tap on reboot. That's it, pretty simple right? As you guys can see, the system phone has been changed. Okay, now we can move on to the last tutorial of this episode. Before jumping right into it, just a disclaimer, the following thing that I am about to show you guys. Don't actually make your device run faster, it is more of a tweak to make it look like it is running faster. So this is how you do it. Go to settings, then go to about phone. Tap on the build number 7 or 8 times, then go back and go to developer options and enable it. Then browse down until you see a menu called windows animation scale options. So we are going to focus on these three options, windows animation, transition animation and animated duration scale. Now what you need to do is you have to set value as 0.5x on all three of these options. So what I just did was I speed up the animations. So now my phone is going to look a bit more snappier. It does make a real difference and yeah just try it out guys. So that's been it guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video. If you did definitely give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys again in my next video. Goodbye. Swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in I could swear that this room has been running out of air And now it's starting to spin